Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fallout for Fatality. Fallout for Fatality side of things after the Gold Quest Clash. Mikey Starks is taking out Josh Acosta. Josh Acosta turned to CCW, picked up a win. Mikey Starks wants to have it out. With the Borough City Maniacs completely. Especially after the Borough City Maniacs. Just absolutely. Stole. Mikey's. WW Internet Championship. Brad Basin of the Borough City Maniacs that is. Mikey's not happy about it whatsoever. Uh, we also have Nadine Phoenix taking on Sheila Swan. One half of the. New CCW Women's Tag Team Champions. We got BJ the Kid, one half of the new CCW World Tag Team Champions. Taking on Dylan23, Lucky Zola. Let's take it on the other half of the new CCW Women's Tag Team Champions, Hannah Hart. Ah, it's going to be a crazy, crazy night. And the main event, Ace taking on Tommy Demise. Let's get straight into this thing. The wild boy Josh Acosta making a return. Here we go. Let's get to the ring. Mikey Starks, the holder of the Booty in the Bank contract. Still good up until Filter Mania 3. Mikey Starks looking ready to go trying to rebound from what happened the other night It was the wild boy, Josh Acosta. Oh, shh. All right. He gets me every time with that. Oh, come on. Mikey's been wanting to get his hands on somebody from the Borough City Maniacs since Tuesday's night's debacle. Josh Acosta might just do for now. And Acosta starts. Mikey lost. To Acosta's brother, Landon, Crown Jewel Champion, will be in action this weekend. Supremacy. Nice. Mikey. Wow. Some nice lucha shit. Yeah. You go ahead, boy. Oh, shit. Costa had him up again. Mike is fighting.
Mikey trying to send a message to Brad Bazin. Of course, Brad Bazin. I'm sorry to say this. Sorry, Ryan. But Brad Bazin pinned Ryan Adams. With an amazing, and I mean an amazing, reverse 450 splash. It was the most hellacious thing I've ever seen. The most craziest thing I've ever seen. I couldn't fucking believe what was going on here. Josh Acosta is going to toss Mikey outside the ring. What's Joshua going to do? Oh, a brain bust on the knee. Oh, and Mikey just speared him right on his fucking boots. Starks, Acosta. Oh no! Acosta caught him napping. Got rich. Power bomb. Oh! Acosta is working on Starks right now. Oh! And a Hogan style leg drop. And Acosta's putting together some offense here. Uh oh, and he might have busted his ass. And Mikey Starks takes him up and over. Oh, Mikey. Go for it. The Brooklyn Destroyer. Oh my God, Brooklyn Destroyer. And Josh kicks out. Mikey Starks looking good. Looking really good. Mikey, oh no! My God, how's he standing? He just hit our towel concrete floor. The Costa, no, 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 no! Oh! Spin out back suplex right on the towel concrete floor. Costa. Oh my god. Mikey wants blood. Mikey. With a Rochambeau on the floor. Oh! And his leg got caught on a goddamn LED board. His leg might be broken. Ah! Uh, it can't be broken because he's standing, but goddamn! It's a close call. Uh, Mikey Starks don't give a damn. Oh no. Mikey. No! Oh! Costa is putting the beats on Mikey here. Mikey will follow him in the ring. And Mikey hits him with a super kick. But Acosta. Oh no. Mike. Oh no. Mikey. No! Pro City plunge. And Mikey kicks out. Mikey's a man on a mission today. Oh, the elbow drops in the back. Mikey took that bad bump on the outside. Uh-oh. Starks. Oh, no. Put the wrong time to pose. Who? Josh Acosta. Might have punched Mikey's lights out. Mikey. Oh no. Nice elbow, but. Oh no. Oh, Revolution Power Bomb! Who? The 
Acosta. Mikey kicks out. Oh, and a spear! Mikey Starks caught him with a spear out of nowhere and a Rochambeau. Oh my God. Ah! And Mikey Starks gets it. Mikey Starks gets a win. What a win by Mikey Starks. Pretty sure that's got to feel good for him somehow, some way. Next match, Nadine Phoenix, Sheila Swan. Man, these two women have so much history. They grew up together. And uh, Nadine Phoenix never really liked the fact that Sheila Swan appeared to help poison the mind of her brother, CG3. And uh, these two have hated each other ever since 2021 when it was revealed that Sheila Swan alongside Juliet Rose, CG3, Landon Acosta. For the Pearl City Maniacs. So, it's been bad blood ever since. So, this has been a long time coming between these two. Let's get down to the ring. Excuse me. Nadine Phoenix is on her way to the ring. 
as stylish as only Nadine Phoenix can be. Representing the Black Star Cartel. Sheila Swan. Here we go, Swan, Phoenix. Nothing like two blonde, blue-eyed women going at it. Oh, wait a minute, Sheila Swan. She calls herself the real blue-eyed butcher. Submission specialist for the Bro City Maniacs. Nadine Phoenix going at the Swan. Hey, if Nadine Phoenix can pin Sheila Swan per CCW rules, you pin one half of a tag team champion. You, you're in line for a title shot, you and your partner. So perhaps if Nadine Phoenix wins this matchup, her and Jake Kazama be in line for a tag team title shot. Oh, damn! Sheila Swan says perhaps not. Says perhaps not. Sheila. Nice. Too close to the ropes, though. These two women went to school together. Grew up together. Bunch of manipulation, though. But on the flip side, though, Sheila Swan finds it ironic that Nadine Phoenix is upset with her about her brother hanging out with Bro City Maniacs and being a part of them. The Nadine Phoenix is a part of a cult or a cartel, as they like to say. A little double standard, perhaps. I don't I, 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 I'm not trying to question Nadine Phoenix or Sheila Swan. These two women are bad. Oh! And that hurts you badly, too. Nadine gonna do oh boy what's this oh a guillotine leg drop damn Nadine Phoenix what's she gonna do what's she gonna do oh Phoenix splash off the top rope on the outside holy shit and a leg got caught on the apron too oh my god that's bad Ray Mad. Nadine. What a slam here. Sheila Swan is in trouble. All kinds of trouble. 
Sheila Swan got saved by the ropes. Nadine Phoenix is getting pissy with Gina. All right. Gonna cool it. Sheila Swan. Oh! What a nice tornado kick. Sheila Swan with a cover. Nadine Phoenix gets out. Bar got it locked in. Swan is cranking it. Uh oh, and Nadine pops in the mouth. Nadine Phoenix, maybe going for another Phoenix splash. Yes, she does. Sheila Swan kicks out. Nadine. Looked like she was going for the Paul Phoenix Lariat, but couldn't get it. Sheila. Swan. Jesus Christ. What's Sheila going to do? A suplex into an arm bar. Cross arm breaker. Gonna float it over a little bit. What are we gonna do here? She just got it tucked in. Got Nadine's arm. Oh shit. The blue eye bandit. Ah, snaps it. That's not enough to put away Nadine Phoenix, but god damn. And oh no, Sheila! Sheila Swan has it! Has that arm out! Oh my god. And Eddie Phoenix gets out of it though. How much damage was done though? God damn. Sheila Swan ain't playing no games, guys. And she might have missed. Nadine Phoenix! Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Sheila Swan again. The arm. Oh my god. Nadine got to block out the pain. She got to block out the pain. Like Mr. T say. Oh no. God damn it. Nadine Phoenix, looks like she's shaking it off a little bit. Oh no, uh oh, Collington Blues! Don't shield Swan right on the head, that could be it. And Swan kicks out, and Nadine can't believe it. And a big boot. Nadine Phoenix just put Sheila Swan down. Oh! I feel like the three count was about to make this arena go goo goo gaga. And Nadine Phoenix said, Look at this bitch. I'm about to put her away. With all the love in the world, I say that with, by the way. But Sheila Swan. Uh oh. Not that time. Swan with a nice knee. Oh! But Nadine Phoenix just dumps it right on the fucking ass. And Nadine, what is she going for here? Trying to put Sheila's lights out, and that's exactly what she did. Oh, and Nadine Phoenix. Going for another Phoenix splash, perhaps? Yes, indeed! 
Is that it? And it is it. Nadine Phoenix gets the win over Sheila Swan. She just earned her. She just earned herself and Jay Kazama a future CCW Women's Tag Team title shot. Nadine Phoenix with an impressive showing. Sheila Swan tried to snap that arm. BJ the Kid is taking on Barraza at the last minute. Dylan, Dylan 23 pulled out due to a, an injury. Ah, I can't believe it. One half of the CCW World Tag Team Champions, BJ the Kid. The Prince of Sag Nasty is in the house. The Lakewood legend is in the house. The Hall of Famer. Well, because of Dylan 23's injury, quote unquote, Braza subbed in for him at the last minute. Being the consummate professional that he is, the great Hall of Famer, the Lakewood legend, doing what he can to still continue to hand out the best to this biz. This should be a great contest. BJ the Kid, Braza. Oh, Barraza. Oh, BJ. Uh-oh, here we go. Nice. 
BJ showing that speed off. Only like he can. For Barraza, oh my God, the Hall of Fame. Ooh! Damn! What a huge gut buster. Oh. I might have took the win out of BJ for a second. It's not the first time we've seen this match. Barraza beat BJ the first time around. BJ got him the second time. So really, this is a this is an end today trilogy right here. Uh oh. And Lil Brando goes boom. Goes for the cover. One a, a two, no. Absolutely not. Barraza said, get the hell out of here with that bullshit. Youngin and Barraza. Whoa, holy shit. It's going off. The Hall of Famer. No. Oh! Former KC, KCW Limitless Champion. Uh-oh. And he's putting the pain on the youngster. BJ the Kid, the youngest member of the roster. Mm. Ross is going after his knee, making him pay. He's going to hang him by the rope. Razas. Another super kick. BJ the Kid. Oh, what a nice Arabian press. Oh, that was nice. Nice Arabian press. Really nice. And. Oh, shit. BJ the Kid. He's about to take off. The Prince of Sag Nasty. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. His back is fucked, they say. I know it. Jesus Christ. It's done. Uh, a beat. Oh. Uh, I How is he still moving after that? I mean, my God. Hall of Famer went for a nice kick there, but BJ. No! And another crash and burn. BJ making too many mistakes. No! BJ, for European uppercut to the back of the neck of Barraza. Oh, no, again. BJ's rocked. Oh. His artillery is off. He reverses Barraza, who attempts a moonsault. BJ's loopy. He's rocked. Barraza missed another high flying attempt. These guys are missing high flying attempts like left and right. BJ, he's got Barraza up though. Sag nasty drop. Sag nasty drop. Barraza kicks out. And BJ can't believe it. He's like, holy fuck. His mama better not hear him catch, <laughs> hear him saying that. <laughs> That's his ass, Mr. Postman. If you know, you know. Uh 
Uh oh. A little bit of slice spread it on the corner. And a Hall of Famer kicks out. Raza missed the kick attempt. He missed it and he missed it badly. Smashes him in the face. Oh! Kicks out. Oh my God. He's getting jiggy with it. Barraza. Oh, and he missed. He missed. BJ moves out of the way. Oh no. Again, BJ reverses it. Oh. BJ's gonna try it again. Sag nasty drop. Can that be it? And he gets it done. BJ looks great, but what the hell? That's still in 23. He's not hurt. What the? F what the hell? What the hell's your damn problem? Dylan! You son of a bitch. Seven one eight. Still up to the old tricks. <sighs> Should have known it. Should have known it from the start. Up next, Lucky Zola taking on one half of the CCW Women's Tag Team Champions, Hannah Hart. Now, Sheila Swan took a loss earlier. Can the same be in the future for Hannah Hart, or will she do what her partner couldn't do and get a win? Get to the ring. Lucky Zola. Luscious is in the house. Currently one half of the KCW Women's Tag Team Champions. Starting her stuff to the ring. Her hair is amazing. Her shoes are way shiny. She's one girl. That's who she is. She's a superstar. On and on, on and on. She goes on and on, on and on. She goes on and on, on and on. Cause the night is young. <laughs> Lucky Zola.
Hannah Hart. And a heart looking really, really good. CCW Women's Tag Team Championships are on her waist. Here we go. Hart and, oh, Hart and Zola going at it. Oh, Hannah Hart. All wild. But luscious Zola. Got a pose. She's getting fired up. And dodged a single leg drop kick from Hannah Hart. Hart. Oh. Hannah Hart with a straight, vicious right boot. And she hits it with a super kick, and she goes for the half. No. Do a little bit more than that, Luscious. Ooh, nice. Roll the elbow to the Bojo's jaw, but Hannah Hart says, nah, nah, I'm a brick house baby. And, uh, whoa, takes Lucky Zola over. And shoot kick to the face. Wow. Big stuff. Forearm smash, springboard style. But Lucky's not impressed. Hannah Hart has just been a huge difference maker ever since showing up here at CCW alongside Sheila Swan. Oh, nice. All right, what we got here? Guillotine leg drop. Ooh. Holy shit! A springboard double foot stomp. Hannah Hart said, fuck all that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And Lucky has a floater over. And Hannah Hart says, no way, Jose. Lucky's back might be hurting everybody, crashing and burning on that towel concrete. <laughs> Lucky's going up top. Oh, for a double rotation moonsault. Wait a minute. She just let her go? Oh. Pop up. That kick, that was nasty. All right. Hannah Hart about to show her how nasty she can really get. Wait a minute. No! Oh, my God. That, oh, my God. Oh, and they eat defeat. Hannah Hart is going to work. Ah! Turn her lights out. Good 
Lord. And Hannah Hart was blowing kisses at the audience. Not paying attention to Lucky. Zola. No. Oh my God. That's it. That's got to be it. And Lucky Zola got Hannah Hart. What a win for Lucky Zola. Lucky Zola pinned Hannah Hart, which means she earned herself and Logan Zola a women's tag team championship match as well. Wow. Uh, Hannah Hart and Sheila Swan might go back to the drawing board because uh, they got two different problems coming from two different angles. Mm -mm. And I'm pretty sure the Rose Dynasty want their rematch. I have a triple threat. Ethan Crane, Tyro the Killer, one half of the CCW World Tag Team Champions, and one half of the former CCW World Tag Team Champions, King Pablo. We saw Dylan 23 fake an injury to get out of a match, only to sneak attack BJ the Kid at the hard fought victory. That's some scum stuff. But the Borough City Maniacs are looking to skirt their way into some tag team opportunities. So, uh, let's see. Let's see what happens here. So far, the Borough City Maniacs are 0-3. Ethan Crane. Too easy, Ethan is in the house. Be the last hope for a victory, at least on this show.
Tyro the killer is in the house. And you know he's going to be pissed off about what happened to his cousin earlier. His younger cousin. Well, at least Pablo's showing up to work. King Pablo is making his way down to the ring. One third of seven one eight. One of the baddest men to come out of California. California IA. King Pablo does not look happy whatsoever. I mean, to be fair, I've never known Pablo to be happy whatsoever. Unless he's holding Benjamins and his daughter and his son. He just looks bitter. For what it was worth, Mikey and uh, Josh had a great match earlier. Ethan Crane, look at this guy. Launching like a damn model. Triple threat. Oh! Pablo. Pablo missed completely. My man is leaning with it and rocking with it. He's going back to 2006. Huh. All right. He is that old, I mean. See, Ethan Crane. Whoa, the springboard tornado DDT. And Pablo shuts him right back down. A Street guys are rocking and fucking rolling, S.A. Oh, Pablo. No! Ripcord elbow. Crane. Ethan. Whoa! Some lucha shit. Oh! God damn. Wait a minute. Tyro. Missed. Crane. Ethan. Referee. Wow. That's almost a close call. Ethan Crane went for German, it looked like. Couldn't get it. Pablo, what's he got? One amigo. Two amigo, right on the baseball bat too. And three amigos, completed it. Shades of one of his idols, Eddie Guerrero. Tyro the killer, oh, doesn't give a damn about his idols. Especially after what happened to BJ the Kid earlier. And Ethan Crane. With a single leg, Boston Crab. The way he rolled into that shit was smooth. It was smooth like jelly on that ass. All right. Pablo just hit the zoom. Wait a minute. BJ the Kid.
Tyrone the Killer hitting the move. Shades of BJ the Kid. Pretty sure dedicating this one to his cousin after getting checked by Dylan23 earlier. Tyro just gets out of dodge. And Ethan Crane, oh my god, a tornado DDT on the bat. Pablo might be not senseless. Crane, DDT. Jesus, that could be it. No. Pablo's busted wide open. Christ almighty. Oh no, and Tyro's got him. And he's getting ready for the Brooklyn stretch. Brooklyn stretch locked in. Ethan Crane's not gonna allow Tyro to complete it. Chop kicks his knee. Ethan Crane. Pablo just popped up like he's on crack. Crane! Cranio Contusion! Oh no, Tyro! Oh! The backbreaker. That's a crazy triple threat. Ethan Crane. Oh, Crane, go through with the clothesline. Oh my God, that might be it. Tyro kicked out. Oh no, Pablo, Bella's wish. Oh, Tyro is done. Ethan Crane. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Pablo. Crane. <laughs> this guy's going back and forth. It's a chess match. And Tyro with a flying knee busted Ethan Crane wide open. BJ the Kid. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Tyro the Killer. My God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. Tyro, track and screw. Whipped him. Tyro's going off. But huge discus lariat. That could be it. Ethan Crane says, no, 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 dog. You can do more than that to put me away. This is a damn good triple threat. Ethan Crane. The rebound elbow. Oh, and he just cracks Tyro. Upside the head with the kendo stick. Tyro not going down. Oh. Oh. Everybody hates our redneck week. Tyro and Pablo went for him at the same damn time. Pablo's back. Damn. Tyro broke it over Pablo's back. But Pablo bouncing right back with a corkscrew kick. That was amazing. Crane tried another kendo stick shot. And Pablo.
That could be it. And it is it. Tyro gets redemption. King Pablo. Wow. Nice win for Tyro to kill it. And on to our main event. Ace versus Tommy Demise. Tommy Demise says he has one over Ace. He says he's going to make Ace fold. Ace has a date with Frankie, the CCW World Champion, at Hardcore Galore 3. Let's get to the ring for some action. We got to go a lot. Tommy Demise. Louisiana's most dangerous man. In his signature skirt. Ace, Tommy, main event. Let's get it cracking. Drop kick of the knee of Tommy. Demise. We're in his best skirt. Here we go. And Ace is wagging him off. Here we go. Sneezing back in the next week. A 
nice knee lift, and Tommy is out. Ace is telling him to suck it. They're struggling here. Uh oh. Irish whip. Looking for a ripcord lariat. A mini acid rainmaker, if you will. Demise rocks him with a forearm. But Ace rocks him with a forearm of his own. Ooh. And a bicycle knee to the face. Oh, and a bubble bomb. Oh, no. All right. We're rocking and rolling. These guys are going back and forth. It's like they know each other. Like the back of their own hands. Tommy Demise, oh no, got caught up. And Ace, oh! Gonna rock the boat a little bit. Uh-oh. Ace's fold, perhaps? Oh, yes! Demise, might be a draw. Oh, come on, ref. The camera got on. Oh my god. Just a glimpse full of Tommy Demise's balls, man. Come on. Ace like he was going for something there. Demise with a huge drop kick and another one. Demise shooting a half for a cover. Ace kicks out. Went for a punch for the, in the gut. Wasn't happening. But uh, Death Valley driver, yes sir. Ace to take that, I know that for sure. And Demise kicks out. These guys are going back and forth, they're going at it. Oh, Demise with a hell of a bulldog. Oh, wait a minute. Acid Rainmaker! Whoa! A little bit of controversy there. Tommy DeMott, Ace's hand was on the rope, Gina. His hand was on the rope. But Tommy Demise gets a, gets the win over the number one contender. Which means Tommy could have a case to be inside that world championship match now. Oh my God, wow, well, wow, okay. Did not see that one coming, but Ace had his hand on the ropes. Well, this episode of Fatality ends with some controversy, but until next time, this is your boy, the RTJXX. I catch you guys later, peace.